Okay, I got some rods in the ground just to uh, show an earth battery effect and how an earth battery does charge a capacitor to do real work. Okay, so first I used this rod as the negative rod, but it's really not that good. Um, so this copper tube right here, this is about, I don't know, four inches long, and I just hammered it into the ground. And then here's this big, uh, uh, I don't know, aluminum or steel uh, old curtain rod thing that I was throwing away. Okay, and it's buried into the ground, maybe, I don't know, five inches or something like that. Okay, now, um, and that's the ground wire, which is going to the capacitor, okay? And it's just single wire. I'm not doing both wires, because that one's not even connected, right? And so, but anyway, if I put that there, there, okay, and I just touch that. Okay, I got almost 0.9 volts, and that actually will climb, and if I dig this s silver rod to the uh, ground even more, it'll um, climb up even more. So anyway, um, it's pretty easy to find about 2 volts or so, and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to connect a wire to the top of that so that it goes to the capacitors, and I'll show you that that will charge a cap. Okay, so this is the output cap on the oscillator circuit here, and there's the input cap. And I tried different transistors today. I tried a 2N2022, and I tried a MJL1121194. And the transistor that works the best with the radiant uh, self-oscillating effect is an RCA3055, at least from what I've found so far. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, this is the wire connected to that rod outside. Okay, just one wire. I'm not even connecting the positive rod or anything yet, which is at about 0.9 volts. Now, as soon as I take that wire and I ground it to this capacitor, um, let's see, right there, you can see that that capacitor is charging up, right? Now, this is a uh, 33,000 microfarad capacitor. Okay, that's no low capacitance. Okay, so anyway, that's charging up. Single wire charging. Six point four nine six uh point six six volts.